Speaking of representation, I just wanted to ask you about the process of finding your illustrator and then choosing someone who is also uh, First Nations. Mm -hmm. Can you can you tell us a little bit more about that? So it was so I, it was really important to me that we um, and everyone on the team. Uh, I felt I'm glad that I I'm glad that I was on a um, I that like the team who was helping with everything was, um, you know, I think. I actually think they pro they might have come into the whole situation with the assumption that I was going to want to um, find somebody um, who uh, who could tell the story from um, with that a lens like uh, indigenous. Um, I I often say indigenous ways of being. Mm -hmm. and, and that is like a very broad term. It means a lot of different things, but mm -hmm. um, but just recognizing that uh, like there's a bunch of stuff in it. First of all, these illustrations are beautiful. They uh, are. They I are. mean, I think he, he did such a great job. Um, and I kind of one of the things that I loved about this, about the the characters in the book is um there's not a, um, I don't know how to describe the characters other than, um, like I love that in some of these pictures, y y you would have no way of knowing, you know, the, what the, uh, 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 gender or, whether someone is uh, non-binary, gender non-conforming, like you, like if you, when you look at these pictures, there are plenty of characters in the book where right. you would have no way of, of um, making those assumptions. Mm -hmm. And I think even that just like, and we didn't, we didn't necessarily talk specifically about that point, but it's something that I loved about just, the approach that he took. Um, and then uh, the vibrancy of the colors, mm -hmm. like, uh, which was something that, you know, his artwork is, um, you know, of course I got to see um, other, other, uh, others of his work and that sort of thing, so.